AI creators. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make coloring pages just like this and make money. And guess what? People are buying coloring pages. So for today's video, we're going to be using two tools, Canva. You go to www.canva.com to create an account. I am using the paid version. And you want to go ahead over to ChatGPT. That is the second site we'll be using. So first, let me show you this. So first of all, when I went to Etsy, I typed in boy coloring pages because y'all know we talk about it's riches in the niches. So I came on here and I see, okay, there's so many different coloring pages for boys. So I'm going through and I'm looking and I'm just seeing and I'm like, okay, very, very simple, very easy to make. I'm looking at the ones with like the best mock-up listings, which I saw here. And lo and behold, I click on this page. Studio SH Design is making, has made over 5,000 sales, almost 6,000 sales just by selling coloring pages just like this just like i'm going to show you in the video and i'm gonna show you how to add a little razzle dazzle in it and how to get the words on here like you can see here which is dump truck you can also do fill in the blank and you can combine such things and i'm going to show you how so look if you don't know what prompts to use or how to generate prompts go ahead and type this prompt in create a list of three prompts to use in chat gpt dolly because that is what we are using for coloring pages that should that should be black and white and children should be able to easily color in it the theme is boy trucks so now i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and it's going to give me three different prompts okay and these are the prompts that i'm going to use in chat gpt of course no prompt is perfect but we're gonna head over so the first thing you want to do is go to explore gpts you want to download this dial e gpt if you don't already have it and then i'm just gonna copy and paste first you always want to look so i'm gonna look once i go into this dial e here and then I'm just going to go ahead and paste that. So let's just see. Black and white line art of a cartoon toy dump truck with oversized wheels and the smiling face on the front. The lines are thick and simple. And I can make the lines thin as well. So we'll do, we'll do both. So we'll do lines thick and we'll do lines thin. And we'll see which one we like the best. So now I'm just going to copy this in. And then we'll just get this prompt ready to be thin because when the lines are thin it's just a thinner line obviously for it to be thicker is better for smaller children so that's okay okay this is pretty cool so now i'm gonna go ahead and type in one for thin so while that's generating i'm gonna click this download button here and we'll do this one because this one is less less like cut off so i'm gonna download this here and it's going to download into whatever your downloads folder is on your library because now i want to bring this into Canva. And now I'm waiting for this thin one to download and we'll see what we get. So now we have this dump truck. Okay, so this one, eh, I don't really like. This one is cool. I like this one as well. So we could, you know, we could rock out with this one too. But I'm going to just use this one for today's example. And we're going to go ahead and go over to Canva. So when you go over to Canva, you can go to custom um, size or you can go to upload. And you can upload those files and when you upload the file it'll go ahead and give you whatever size it's in in this case i'm gonna just go ahead and upload the the dump trucks here and i don't know if i did both of them but we'll go ahead and download those and now i want to add this in so now all you do is simply add this in. you can see it's quite a background but no worries i'm going to show you how to use these tools inside the canva and we'll just go ahead and hit background remover. Now, once we hit the background remover, we're able to now go ahead and get this black and white image. Now, if I want to color in these circles, all I could simply do is, since these are like circles, I could go ahead and go to elements and I could just grab a circle. And this is under shape. So you could also type in circle. And I could just go ahead and place this right in the middle and duplicate this so like right on top of this right where it's centered at and then i'm just gonna make this white so instead of it being pink i'm gonna make it white 
and now you have it white. And you could fill in the space just a little bit so it covers the circle. And that's if you don't like that shaded black area showing. Okay, and you could also make an outline over the circle if you want to as well. And then you could twist it around just a little bit. And this just shows how you actually can modify your designs. And this works easy with like simple shapes like circles and different things like that. So I could also put an outline, which how do you do? Just a little outline just because it makes it look a little bit better in this case, because it's kind of on a slant. And just making sure I have the same outline number, right? That's a three, so I want this to be a three as well. And then you'll just make sure that this is a three. And now they're able to shade in there. And then of course, y'all know what y'all need to do. Y'all can either drag over, over the entire picture and hit group. And once you group that and listen if you're getting value from today's video you want to learn how to actually use canva to start making money like the store that i just showed you go ahead and comment canva below so i can show you how to actually use canva to make designs come to life like this okay so now we can move our design freely the background is now gone and now we want to go ahead and just add some text because if you notice here I wanted to give it a little bit more flavor. So instead of it just being coloring pages, it could be like fill in the blank. It could be all of these different things that you could use. So I want to also give it some words like, you know, because kids like to spell words and do different things like that. So now when I go back to the design, I'm going to head over to text and then I'm going to type in kids font. So I always type in kids font and one of my favorite fonts is one little font so i'm going to use this one little font here i'm going to make this bigger and i'm going to show you how to get this into a coloring oh, let's grab the font a coloring style font meaning where people can shade it in and we're gonna do dump truck okay so now we have the word dump truck. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just so you can see. And then we're going to click on effects. Now, of course, I'm using a pro version. Anything with a crown on it, that means that you have to have the pro version, which is well worth it. And I'm going to go ahead and click outline. So now once I click outline, go ahead and click effects again. We're going to click outline. I want this outline to be black. And then I want the text, I'm going to highlight over it to be white. Oops, hold on. Let's highlight over this. Okay. So now the text inside is white and the highlight around it. So now they are able to color that in and that is perfect for me. Why? Because not only do I have a coloring page, but I also have a fill in the blank. So another thing that you could do let's say you want to not have the coloring page you could go ahead and add in this font again let me delete that out add this font in you can say this is a and then let me move this up so you can see what i'm doing and you could just create an underline so go ahead and hold the shift key and do a dot 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 and you can even have the word you know, spelled out. So T-R-U-C-K. And now T-R-U-C-K. And now you have this here as well. So now they could like fill in the blank, <laughs> which makes this even more fun. Uh-oh. No, we got a duplicate. But this makes it even more fun. So now they can fill in the blank and color it as well. And of course, you can always leave directions at the bottom of the actual card, but this looks good. So now, not only do we have a coloring page that you could create, now you could create a coloring page with the actual font that you could fill in and color. And then you also could do a fill in the blank, like flashcard coloring. Pages. And then let's go back to another prompt and let's go ahead and grab 
And this is prompt number two. No, that one is probably going to be too much. So let's do this one because the jump in and you want to get rid of like, you know, words like that. So let's go ahead and add this one in. And this is a simple, this is a fire truck. Okay. And let's do this. So now we could go ahead and add this in as well. And then I'll also show you how to add in elements into your design as well. So, oh no. This is not what we want. So when you get a mistake, this is not what we want. Please make black and white coloring page. No shade. No shaded areas. So sometimes you have to put in like you want the black and white coloring page, no shaded area, which is totally fine. And if we don't get it right, We'll just use another prompt. We'll modify the prompt. We'll use the same one. Okay, so this one is better. So let's go ahead and download this one. So perfect. So now again, you want to go to upload. You want to upload that recent one that you just did. And then we're just going to add this in. And again, we're going to just zoom this out, move the background. And, you know, I have how you use these magic AI tools, of course, in the videos on my page. So if you want to look more on how to use those to remove the background, it is a pro feature. Go ahead and do that. And, of course, if you want to learn how to use Canva to make money online, go ahead and comment the word Canva. So now we have this. And if I wanted to get rid of these lines here, I could do that. All I have to do is go into edit. Go to magic eraser and i could just erase these out because i do want to get rid of these and now i just hit erase this is why i love the magic ai tools feature because now boom it's just gone so now we have the fire truck here and like let's say we want to add alarm so we could do black and a lot of times inside of canva here's a hack outline outline of alarm so an outline will give you different outlines, typically in black and black and white, and you could use that as well. So let's see if we put fire alarm. You could get that. So yeah, so we have some stuff here, and we have this little button here that we could utilize if we wanted to. And we also have this sign here. So we have a bunch of different outlines that we can utilize. So I just wanted to show you that's how you add stuff in. So for here, again, we'll go ahead and use this one little font. And we'll bring this up. And we'll go ahead and type in fire truck. Okay. So because look, this is a fire truck. So... I want to make this bigger. And now, again, what do we do? We go to effects. We go to outline. We make the outline black. We go ahead and change the font to white. And now we have fire trucks. So now they can fill that in. You can also make this a fill in the blank. And also, another cool feature that we have with Canva, which I really, really love, is like you have, you have to be the first. Uh, you had to be one of the million individuals to get this feature. But look, you can add a new page. I could resize this page inside of here. Resize this. Oops, hold on. I could resize this design straight from inside of this page. So let me go ahead and go. So let me change the pages. So when you change the page overview to high page thumbnails, if I go ahead and hit add page, if I click this, I could hit add page type and then I could hit more and then I could hit eight and a half by 11. And look at that. Now I could add an eight and a half by 11 design with this. And guess what I could just do? I could highlight this here, group this together, copy this, bring this into an eight and a half by 11 page. If I wanted to ungroup this, you know, kind of restructure this size and make this fit for eight and a half by 11. Come on, y'all. Tell me this not fire. So this is one of the newest features. I believe that they're going to roll out the features. And look, I could also add videos. So look, I got a little sneak peek for
for y'all. So I was actually able and invited to go to the Canva event. And if y'all want to see more and want to learn more about Canva, let me know. But I'm going to go to uploads and just show y'all a sneak of the video. Look at this. So listen, y'all, y'all had to be in a room at this Canva Create Uncharted event. They unlocked so many different tools, got to be so many people, was front row and center in the stage. But listen, I really want to show y'all how to do things just like this so you could create income in 2025 because I know that we all need it. If you are looking to create images just like this and unlock the new features inside of Canva to make extra income, go ahead and comment the word Canva and I will see y'all on the next video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.